Toby's Homeschool Adventures, What Will I Learn Today? Today, I'm learning about the little world of giant anteater pups. Join me as I explore Zoo Miami. Go behind the scenes with zookeepers Ryan and Tatiana. And me, assistant zookeeper Toby. We hike towards the river otters to meet our friend Ryan. Hello, flamingos. <laughs> yeah, I like those guys a ton. Meet Ryan, reptile care manager at Zoo Miami. Ryan is a herptologist. A herptologist is a person who studies reptiles and amphibians in different ways to protect them. Great. Ryan has traveled all over the world studying them. Meet Tatiana, mammal care manager at Zoo Miami. Tatiana is in charge of making sure the mammals at Zoo Miami are healthy, fed, and happy. Today, Ryan and Tatiana have a big surprise for me. Meet Ziggy! Ziggy is a four-month-old giant ant eater. Giant ant eater fact number one. Giant ant eaters are native to Central and South America. Before I interacted with Ziggy, I had to learn a few ant eater manners. And we're gonna get kind of eye level with him and crouch down, because he tends to get a little intimidated when people are kind of coming over him. Um, but we're gonna pass him. Yeah. We're gonna move slow, we're gonna pat him. Don't try to pick him up, let him kind of sniff you. He's gonna explore and invest. Giant ant eater fact number two. Baby ant eaters are called pups. Big difference. Oh, look at his little tongue. Yeah. So you may do like two fingers. You go real slow, you can pet his back. Pat him very gently. There you go. Giant eater fact number three. The coat feels coarse and rough, but smooth. Giant ant eater fact number four. They are mammals. As babies, they rely on milk from their mothers for nutrients. Giant ant eater fact number five. Adult tongues can measure up to two feet long or 0.6 meters. Yeah, so you see that tongue? Um, when he's full grown, it'll grow up to two feet in length. So that's the longest tongue in the world right there. Giant ant eater fact number six. Babies climb onto their mother's back and stay with her for up to 10 months. Giant ant eater fact number seven. They have no teeth. They use their tongues to eat termites, ants, worms, and other types of bugs. Giant ant eater fact number eight. They have long, sharp claws. They use them for protection, digging, and shredding wood in search of yummy insects. Yeah, so normally he would eat ants in the wild when he's full grown, but since he's still a baby, we pass him on milk and 
will slowly start to introduce him to fall, uh, solid foods in, in a few weeks. Um, and then we'll introduce him to some insectivore diet, but softened up. And eventually he'll get worms and different insects for enrichment and so for training. You see, how, you see how he's only four months old and how big his claws are already? Mm -hmm. That's what we're yeah. talking about with the adults and that's how they're gonna rip open the logs and everything to try to get their food in the wild. Mm-hmm. It's so cute. Yeah. Giant ant eater fact number nine. They have poor eyesight. Instead, they rely on amazing senses of smell and hearing while searching for food. Ant eaters have poor eyesight, but they he could smell yeah. all the ants on the floor. That's what helps him find like termite mounds. And he also has um, really good hearing, but his eyesight is not that great. Giant ant eater fact number 10. They walk on their knuckles like gorillas. They do this to protect their claws so they will stay nice and sharp. Yeah, he actually walks on his knuckles to make sure that his claws are sharp. Um, <laughs> stay sharp. Yeah. He's huge. Like last time I saw him was when we had our meeting out here. Yeah, like he's grown ago, he's double so much. Size easily in that Giant ant eater fact number 11. Their closest relatives are sloths. They also are related to armadillos. Goofy tongue. So now he's going to walk around and sniff us. Just like be very gentle when we're petting him, okay? So and let's cute. Do Giant ant eater fact number 12. They are considered adults around the ages of two and a half to four years old. Giant ant eater fact number 13. Females can weigh up to 105 pounds or 47 kilograms. Males can weigh up to 110 pounds or 50 kilograms. Giant ant eater fact number 14. In the wild, female ant eaters live up to 11 years. Males live up to 15 years. What's their lifespan? So their lifespan in the wild, in the wild um, could be up to late teens, but in human care, it could actually go into the 20s. And Giant ant eater fact number 15. They have long bushy tails that provide camouflage, distract predators, and collect warmth from the sun. about four months old um, was kind of a special situation because his mom didn't really take care of him so we had to step in and take care of him to make sure that he was healthy and growing and just having the best life possible. What did you say his name is? His name is Ziggy. Ziggy, that's right. So uh, back in 2016 we had a uh, another baby here who had uh, the same mom, Laura, and she did a really great job of taking care of him. Um, but during that pregnancy, everything went well. This pregnancy, she was having some trouble eating. So unfortunately, when he was finally born, he was underweight, he was weak. So he didn't climb onto her back like he should have when he was born. So obviously at that point, natural instincts kick in She's and like, mom said, my survival instincts take take course and unfortunately I can't hang out with you. I'm gonna go. Yeah. This is rubber belly, you can't ooh, bite, you're ooh, good. Ooh, We're just scratching with those claws. <laughs> Toby's Homeschool Adventure! Be sure to check out part two of Toby's Homeschool Adventures to Zoom Miami!